Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I thought I would do a review of my wide, ultra-wide monitor. I know a few of you have been asking since I got this uh, for a review. And so I thought I'd finally do a review here on what is the LG 34UC88-B <laughs> monitor. So basically it's an LG 34 inch ultra wide monitor, uh, LG 34UC88. And I have had this for a few months now and I thought it's about time that I've, I've been using it for long enough to, to do a review. So little background on me and my history with monitors. Uh, you can check out a blog post I did well, let, let's talk about <laughs> about my history first. So I spent a lot of time uh, changing monitor configurations. Let's, let's just put it that way, right? I was one of the first developers <laughs> to do dual monitors. At least at all my work environments, I would bring in a second monitor. I've tried all kinds of configurations from turning widescreen monitors sideways, right? LCD monitors. I mean, back in the day, I remember buying a 17 inch ViewSonic LCD monitor and that was like a $700 or $800 purchase because I'm that serious about monitors. Monitors are really like, pixels are important to me, right? I've just always been trying to get as, as much pixels as possible. That shift or that thinking has shifted lately as I found that pixels aren't, aren't all there is. So I've gone through iterations of, at one point I had like six monitors hooked up to my computer and they were like a bunch of the 24 inch monitors the Dell ones and uh, a couple of other ones in there. So I've had like a four monitor bank as well as two additional side monitors. Uh, at one point I had a 4K monitor, which you can check out. I did a blog post on the Seiki, uh, the, the 4K monitor, uh, which is still a good monitor, right? It was actually a TV slash monitor. And I actually bought two of those and I had two of those. I had dual screen 4K monitors, which was, which was kind of nuts. But what I found was that it was just too much. Like I couldn't actually utilize it because I, I had to turn my head and it was just like too much brightness in my face. And it just, I wasn't utilizing it to, to the maximum. So that's when I started to think about doing an ultra wide, especially a curved ultra wide. And that's what brought me down this path is I thought, okay, what is really optimal? I wanna simplify things. What if I could just have one monitor, but that monitor basically acted as a dual screen without the divider between the middle because that seemed to be kind of, it seems like the optimal space is that you can actually utilize. Because having a 4K monitor or two 4K monitors, I realized that I was basically using the middle of both monitors and had this big line down the middle just because the stuff that's too far out or too high or too low is you're just not gonna utilize as much as much as you think you would, unless you just use it for like status and stuff, but that's actually more harmful than helpful. So let's talk about this monitor. Let's take a look here. You can see my setup here uh, with my standing desk. Uh, by the way, if you wanna see a review on my standing desk and the floor mat, I know I need to clean this up, but uh, you can check that out. Go ahead and click the link. I'll show you here, or, or if you're on a mobile, you'll see the link for that video in the description. But you can see here, I've got a nice cool wallpaper from Digital Blasphemy. And here's the monitor itself, the listing on Amazon. Uh, you can click here to buy it. Uh, I, I highly recommend this monitor, it's been pretty awesome. So my experience with using this, uh, it's been really good. I, I also bought a monitor arm here. You can see this Amazon Basics. I, I recommend this as well. Uh, you can click the link to buy that as well if you're interested. But <clears throat> Anyway, the thing is, like, this seems to be the optimal configuration. This has a slight curve to it, right? And so I can stand here and when I'm working on this monitor, like everything is in my field of vision. That slight curve actually makes a pretty big difference. It's nice just having one monitor. Again, now the webcam actually works, right? Whereas you have two, it's really hard to position a webcam. I know that's not a huge deal, but it, I do a lot of video conferencing. So it does make a difference for me. And then, you know, the big thing is like most of the time when you're using this monitor, what you're doing is you're basically doing like, you know, uh, I probably shouldn't bring up my email because who knows what's in there, but <laughs> uh, you know, I'll bring up something like, okay, yeah, here we go. So my Kanban board. So 
you're you're using two things, right? It's really hard to have to use more than two windows at a time. And I know that some of you programmers, right, you have the database in IDE and maybe the web or something that you're looking up. And that's true, but honestly, for the most part, you're usually switching between two or you're looking at one thing and copying another thing. And so I find that this is, is really the most useful configuration. And this monitor is big enough, right? It, it's got enough pixel density and and the, the monitor itself is big enough that it just seems to be optimal. I, I really don't think we can get much better than this until we have a hollow lens where we've got you know, the ability to basically have a monitor projected onto our eyes and have a full field of vision. But until that happens, I'm, I'm thinking this ultra wide, you know, to me, this is the best so far. Again, this could change <laughs> because I've changed so many times, but of all the things that I've tried so far, of all the iterations I've tried of monitors, I have found this to be the best. And again, I haven't used too many ultra wide monitors. This is the only one that I've actually, but I did some research and I and I really like the reviews on this one. And so far this thing, it looks good. Uh, like I said, the curve is just about right. It's not too heavy and you know, and, and it's the right resolution, that ultra wide resolution. So I highly recommend this. I highly recommend, you know, getting an ultra wide, trying that out in general. I think, like I said, I think this is optimal and you know having the slight curve i think is actually even worth it i know some people debate that but but in my mind it's worth it and it just seems to be the best configuration for doing whatever i'm doing i just feel most of most efficient doing it this way and and simplifying like another argument could be made for simplifying right just having one monitor is so much nicer it's a lot easier you have a lot more uh, a lot less issues with configuration and things like that and in calibration because it's only one monitor so there's a lot of benefits to just having the single monitor and you know like i said you if you're choosing between ultra wide or 4k i've had both of those as a single monitor and i'm telling you the 4k is just like it's either the 4k is so small that you know the, that you're not actually able to turn the resolution right so i'm using full resolution on this right and it's totally fine it looks great so you have a problem with the 4k of Either you can't even see it because because the, the when you go to max resolution, so you're basically just using it as as retina for for retina high de, high uh, high DPI images, which is okay, right? But or you have it big where you can see all the pixels, and when it's big like the Seiki, uh, which I still recommend, it, it's it's still cool, but it's I just don't think it's optimal, right? With the Seiki, uh, when you have that. Turn on a light here, but the the problem becomes then that you're not able to like it's too tall, it's too wide, like you're turning your head, so you're not utilizing the the full extent of it, and it just doesn't divide very nice. I mean, dividing into four 1080 windows seems good, but it's actually not as useful as dividing into two whatever this works out to be with the ultra wide. I don't even know on these. Let me see here. So we've got uh, let's see, actually. Look at this here. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at 3440 by 1440, right? So at that resolution, you know, dividing that in half, the 3440 in half, which is what, 15, 17, 20 by 1440, two of those are just about right in that, it, that seems to be the, the most beneficial. Like it doesn't seem too small, doesn't seem too big. Whereas the 1080 resolution, it just seems a little bit too small, to be honest with you. So anyway, I highly recommend it. I like it. I'm probably sticking with this at least until I get a hollow lens <laughs> and don't have a monitor at all. But uh, yeah, this is the best I've found so far. So I highly recommend it. Again, if you are interested in this particular model, the same one that I have that I know works good, you can check it out here. Click the link to uh, to check it out on Amazon. It's the LG 34UC88-B, and then uh, and then I would recommend a an arm. I've got a nice arm. Amazon makes a, a decent one, so that you can swivel this sucker around. Anyway, that's it. If you want more tech reviews like this, let me know, and let me know what other hardware that you're interested in me reviewing. If you have something that you want to send me, uh, you can email me at john at simpleprogram.com. If I like it, I'll review it. If I don't like it, I probably won't review it. But, you know, I, that's, I'm going to be honest. And I could, one thing is, I, I'm, you're not going to bribe me. <laughs> There's no, just no way. It's not going to happen, right? If I like it, I'll review it because I'd like to, 
talk about stuff that I like and and I want to keep this as genuine as possible. Didn't really want to get into the tech reviews, but I think it's probably worth worth doing a few of these on the stuff that I really like. So anyway, that's it. If you like this video, make sure you click the subscribe button below and you'll get more reviews, more career advice, more philosophy, more of everything that you like. All right, I'll talk to you next time. Take care.